So we are here once again at CES and we are checking out one of our first stops of the actual hall is Rainston. Now this is a shower that's going to revolutionize the way you save water while also enjoying an amazing shower. So can you tell us a little bit about the product? Yes, absolutely. I'd love to. So we know that North Americans are some of the largest water wasters. 30% of water in the home is connected to showering. So we knew we needed to do something about it and we've invented North America's first circular shower, rain stick. Think about rain stick more like an appliance than your traditional shower hardware. Instead of going down the drain, rain stick captures and cleans water all in real time for the duration of the shower. No two users have the same water and at any time a user can, with the click of a button, press the shower down to 1.8 gallons per minute, which is traditional shower mode. The benefit of circular shower mode is three gallons per minute, so almost double the flow rate compared to a regular shower, and 80% water and up to 80% energy savings. That's awesome. Now, we're all multitaskers in California because we, we have to get out of that shower as quickly as possible. Yeah. So the biggest thing is like, you know, usually you brush your teeth in the shower. You don't want that water kind of probably circling back. So how do you stop that from circling when you're doing things like that at a certain times? Okay, that's, so that's a really good question. So the first thing I would say is that any time just press the button to traditional shower mode, which is exactly that. We use that drop of water just one time and we bring it down to low flow, okay? Or alternatively, rain stick also cleans the water in real time through a three-stage cleansing process. The first step is a micron screen that removes any sort of larger hair, debris, dirt, sand, you name it, anything that's larger that you don't want going through the system, it collects it for you. The second way is we're actually refreshing the loop continuously with a tiny amount of grid supplied water that is hot so it also maintains a really comfortable temperature for the user and then lastly we got to have some uv led uh -huh. to address any bacteria and viruses in the shower in real time to that's make awesome. sure that that water stays fresh that is that's really cool i mean that's great the question i have to ask is shampoo yes in the eye yeah. is horrible yeah so are you promising Yes. That if I shampoo and it goes into the system, it's not going to get in my eyes and bother me on the way out. This was a huge consideration when we were building Rainstick, and I can promise you that that will not irritate your eyes. So yes, that is my promise to you. <laughs> that is awesome. And then the last thing I have to ask is, now this is a powered device. Yes. So electricity runs through it to manage and contain it. Yeah. A lot of bathrooms aren't designed for that. Yeah. How difficult is it to retrofit an existing bathroom to include that electrical run into it and there's no danger concerns, correct? Yes, so good question. So rain stick can be installed during two different times. One is either new construction where you're planning or the second one is through a bathroom renovation process. It's also straightforward enough where you don't need a specific rain stick installer. Any certified bathroom contractor or pro can install a rain stick. And as far as the power requirement, we're seeing um, heated floors in bathrooms nowadays. We're seeing more electrical that's in that cavity and in that space. Rain stick, it is an appliance and it's IP rated. We use IP rated enclosures and you have a GFCI um, um, power switch. We actually are only using the equivalent of about a hair dryer during the wow. shower of power, so there's not a lot in there, but it does, it is protected within the system. That's really awesome. Thank you so much for your time. I wish you guys great success. Thank you. We'll be having more content for you at Nerd News Social with CES. So see you in the next video.